Welcome back to um, our talk today, talking about managing in China globally, management, Guangxi, and the art of war for international activities. Uh, what the TA was saying is information. Oh, we made uh, it together, the present. Uh, oh, you're making it together, so you're presenting yeah. together. Yeah. Yeah. Great. So you're both co-hosting. Thank you. Please go ahead and, and start talking. So, um, hello. Um, <laughs> we're going <laughs> to present about um, to, uh, topic related to week nine. Um, our topic is why multinational corporations fail or win um, when they push into some country. And this is our table of context. Um, I will present element of global corporation success um, when they extend other country. Great. Before you um, continue, can I ask one more question, Professor? Yeah. <laughs> uh, do you want me just to, <laughs> to shut up all the time? Or do you want the class to help you prepare to do better and prepare to do perfect for the term project? Do you want us to give you comments while you are talking? Or do you want us just to it, shut up? <laughs> um, <laughs> Until it the is end. okay to have um, our presentation. Great. So one thing that's very important is following the scientific style. And so uh, if we identify the scientific uh, style, where is it here? Uh, I will. Is it okay if I interrupt and share my screen just so I, you can yeah, see what? Yeah, this is okay. Doing? So uh, in here, now you can see this is showing what a normal social science paper should look like. All of these blue things, you should have these blue things uh, and talk about those first. So the first thing you talk about is what are you teaching the world? Before mm -hmm. you talk for five minutes, before you talk for 20 minutes or 30 minutes, just take 30 seconds to teach the world, what are you talking about? What are you teaching? And then introduce why the topic is important. The intro, background literature, the methods, results, the conclusion. Um, the idea of an index, it's nice. It's polite. It's popular, but it's not needed. I don't think uh, many people really care because if you give a proper abstract, that is the summary of what you will talk about, the summary of what you found, and then you just prove it. Um, so I'll go ahead and stop sharing my screen. You can go back and continue presenting. Thank you very much. Everybody else, uh, Kim Unbin and Chung Soyun, all of you, um, you will not be getting attendance points and you can't actually do the proper evaluation and get points for that unless you're active in class. So please, everybody, start practicing your talking. Go ahead, keep going, guys. Um, um, uh, um, so um, I will start first. Um, um, we have a question about how Glover Company was getting success uh, in world market. So. Um, we found that um, localization is a very important element. Um, localization is the strategy of um, associating a global brand with symbolic meaning, value, and belief, and norm of um, local cultures. And let's go to see the example how to use this strategy and how to this strategy back to success. Um, first, um, to use this strategy, um, you have to communicate politely with the country you want to enter. Um, and you can receive well disposed responses about the brand by recognizing local culture and communicating politely. Okay, come on, class. <laughs> um, you, you said <laughs> you want everybody to help you develop for perfect. So there's 29 people here that should be making comments. Can you go back that one slide? 
Seriously, is there anybody like on on purpose? She has typed in things to get the audience to talk. <laughs> what should we talk about? What can we talk about? John Hedin is a genius by showing her first slide <laughs> with an issue. What is an issue that the rest of the class can get help from? Uh, polite. Why? Be polite? Absolutely, yes. Uh, polite is different than polite. P-L-O-I-T-E, right? Everybody in class, <laughs> please make sure. If you want points, be helpful. <laughs> Talk, manage yourself, manage your culture. If you stay quiet, you will not do very well in class. If you don't have your video on, you will maybe not do very well in class. Uh, if you don't talk frequently, you it's going to be hard to do well in class. Everyone, I know you're comfortable being quiet, but that is bad. And like she's teaching, that's rude internationally. When somebody is talking to you, you should react. You should respond. Being quiet and just going... <laughs> is only good in Korea, Japan, and China. Outside of these areas, it's rude. So please continue. Professor. <laughs> um, um, in the case of Coca-Cola, they try to communicate politely to many countries um, through the campaign um, Sherry Cook. Um, and in Iceland, they edit the Irish language like IP and OISIN. Um, and in China, they use words um, such as close friends and classmates um, because people in China um, avoid mentioning names. Um, and also, Samsung held an art ex exhibition considering the um, French people love and awareness of art. Um, by doing this, um, they send a signal that they respected French culture. Um, and secondly, um, you have to figure out how to integrate um, cultural elements. Um, and as time goes by, you're recognized as a part of local culture. And this, this allows customer to become psychologically um, closer to the brand. Um, for example, in case of KFC, they try to assimilate to the uh, local culture uh, by introducing a uh, rice menu and menu invented with local ingredients. Um, it was an um, appealing strategy for the customer of various classes. Um, although people responded favorably um, to the traditional dish, and younger people um, tried a new American meal. So they made the brand people feel like local brand. Um, and, but we have to be careful to use elements that are too symbolic. Um, using things that are too symbolic can cause alienation and discomfort for uh, to cons to consumer, um, and it is um, support team and document that I found in Scopus. Um, I prepare it just in case you want to read it. Great. Can we go back because yeah. you're you're trying to do something that is the most important. You're trying to show something that is very reliable. I want to hear from the rest of the class. So far, every other student, <laughs> we have one out of 31, 29 people in our group today. One, <laughs> you talking, you are doing well managing globally, managing culture globally. 28 people <laughs> are being bad. <laughs> Stop being bad people. Start talking. What do we need to think about here? How can we improve this? How can we do a better um, seminar, how can we do a better communication globally? So 
Uh, Chun Hedin, you are the professor, right? Just ask one of your bad students. <laughs> oh. Ask any student, how can we make this better? You have designed this PPT well. You designed it with tricks. So your classmates should comment and say, hey, we should do this. Hey, what about this? But so far, they're not saying that. So pull them by the hair, kick them. <laughs> Get your classmates to start identifying how can we improve um i don't know well ask your classmate um, kim jake young what about you <laughs> no comment from her She's not participating in class, not looking for points today. Okay, no. so I'm going to go to the next. Kim, Goody, I want to see your video on and talking. Otherwise, I guess you're not getting points for today. Please speak up anytime, not just when I'm talking. Kim, Sung Hoon. E, Chang Hyun. Yes, sir. Kim not yes, sir. Give comments to the class. Turn your video on. Participate in class. How can we make this better? Well, uh, um, maybe it's better to maybe summarize the text and oh. something like use bullet points. Bullet Perfect. Points. Thank you very much. Make sure you send a so. note to the TAs to ask for 0 0.5 points for that uh, UNO. Make sure that you get some points. You're the first trying to help. So uh -huh. now get the rest of the class. Do you understand what he said, uh, Professor yeah. Chun? Yeah. Um, but um, I said already this context, but I just prepared it just, just in case you want to uh, read more about my uh, uh, topic. So I, right. pre yeah, yeah. You did I perfect. Already, you you yeah. did perfect. You're one of the first presenters and you're showing a journal article that's perfect. And you know, <laughs> you have many <laughs> bad classmates. <laughs> and so you're giving them an opportunity to talk because everybody has to talk. And so you have lots of information here. And so what Mr. Uh, Uyo, um, sorry, you and O said was summarize the details. That's good. That's a, one good thing. And you know that. What else? Kim Jake Young, uh, Chung So Yun, um, Yun So, So jo Jimin. Um, or, all of you are, are not in class. I want to help give you points. Maybe make another slide and put the story divided. Okay. So uh, I believe what you're trying to say is have less words on each slide. Good. Oh, yeah. That's one good idea. What is another good idea? You guys are killing me being too quiet. We're going to run out of time. And the other group that wants to try to get presentation points is going to run out of time. You guys need to speak up. I don't have any comment. I just have a question. Okay. So, yeah. So this article talk about the global brand. They should be, um, they should like respect the local culture. So that's is the way they show the customer that they, um, uh, like they respect the, the people of that country. But in what situation? they shouldn't do that. Like they want to follow the, the management style of, the, of that country, not the local country. So I want to know in what case a global brand shouldn't follow um, the cultural, the local culture. Uh, um, I, um, so you say uh, I need a more example about um, um, this subject, right? 
like the opposite, the opposite of, of this. Uh, uh, so sometimes, for example, a Canadian uh, yeah. come to Vietnam and they respect the culture, but sometimes Vietnam, they, Vietnam has a very high level of, of bribe and uh, environment like pollution, environmental pollution. So should they do the same or? or... <laughs> Good. I'm just going to throw plastic bags all over the place. <laughs> because Vietnamese people, Vietnamese business do that all the time. Should the Canadian uh, business follow that? <laughs> like... <laughs> so the question is, yeah. Uh, many people say when you're in a country, you should do what that country does. But to learn global culture, you should learn what is polite globally. So what Hua is talking about is some countries pollute. Some countries throw garbage on the ground. And some people say when you're in that country, do what those people say. But the more educated people, they understand there's a global way. So you're not supposed to do polluting. And in your academic discussions, you should have your uh, reliable information. Can you go back to your quote from your article? Uh, actually, even these, those pictures. So all of this information, the, with, <laughs> sorry, going back and forth. So any of these, these are um, copying a whole page from somebody else. So number question number one, is it ethical? Is it polite to copy a whole page? Yeah. Will I fail you if you copy a whole page? The answer is what? Mr. Um, Juan, Junha. John Hayden is giving you a challenge. She's showing you many examples that you should be able to identify. In week six, in week seven, when you present your term paper, if you do this, you will fail. She's helping you pass. She's helping you fail. So, uh, Kwan Junha, are you in class or you're not in class? In class. Then start talking. <laughs> and turn your video on. You're being rude. Okay, I can't put up with this rudeness uh, anymore. Um, um, Yi Chang Hyun, you're supposed to be a class leader. You also are not talking or uh, sharing video in class. That's not a good thing to do. Please, um, make sure somebody start talking and suggest ways to communicate and present academically, politely, internationally. When you reference, uh, it's a good start. So, uh, Professor, you have good information from an article. That's good. You have a reference. That's good. But how you show the article, it's okay, but it can be much better. If you just show the key fact or the key quote, that is best. In here, you also have a very long reference, but it's not the proper reference. When you are showing each slide, you should have generally just two things. The author's name and the date they wrote it. That's it. Uh, That's called um, an in-text reference. And um, then at the end of your presentation, Professor Jun, she's like a genius. She's showing this to the whole class. So nobody else will do this in the rest of the class. Um, and Yi chang Hyun and Yi Dayong, when you presented, you didn't show many journal references. So we're getting better. And in week seven, it's worth 30 points. So make sure you only put quotes around the main thing that's important and a proper reference, in-text reference. Uh, can somebody tell me what should you have in the final page with your full reference details. What should be in your full reference? John Bo Yun. Yeah. 
Why, Professor? What do you mean? What? I, I asked you a question, and you were supposed to be the professor today. I, I don't know why you're being quiet, so I'm asking you two things. When are you going to present? And to start with, what has to be the way to reference properly? What should you have in a reference? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I try to share my, my camera. Professor? That's because you didn't put your icon up saying that you want attention. If you want to talk, uh, it's best if you put your red hand up, uh, sorry, little blue hand up that icon. The other thing is uh, when you're presenting, you should have the author's name, the year, the title of the story, the title of the journal magazine, and the DOI or the website link where you got this. That should be on your last page. Inside the presentation, like this slide, you only show what, Professor Chun? Two things? What are those two things? Um, about my presentation? Yes. When, um, anybody, any presentation. When you show a PPT, when you show a paper, before the last page, in every paragraph and every slide, you should also have two things for referencing. What are those two in-text details you need for referencing? Um, um, an author's name and, and um, date. Right. So this one, you should say Lee 2019. That's it. Or Lee and Al. That means Lee and other people 2019. That's all you need to put at the bottom in your references. Everything else goes to your very last slide and you will show lots of details. So I hope Chun Boyun, you understand that for when you are going to be presenting. Sorry for interrupting. I just wanted to make sure everybody understands that. The first presentation we had with Yi Changhyun and Yi Dayong, I, I didn't see journal articles. So this is the first one everybody can learn from the experience with Professor Jun Hayden. Please keep going, Ms. Jun. Professor Jun Hayden, you, uh, did you want to finish presenting or are you already done? Chun Hayden, did your internet freeze? I think so, sir. Okay, you do have a classmate that's uh, presenting with you, right? Uh, she, she already. Uh, oh, she sorry. Did. Yours is just the alone. I, I thought she said at the beginning of class there was one somebody presenting with her. Moon Taekyun, are you presenting with her also? Yes, because we work together, so. Okay, so can you continue showing the rest of the PPT? Okay. Um. I'm sorry. Um. Um, I have a, a technical issue, so I just say um, Taegyun will present my next. I finished my time. Okay. While we're waiting, Chung, Un, uh, Yu Un, and Kim Un Bin, and Jung So Yun, Jung Yu Jung, uh, Yi Chang Hyun, you guys, I'm going to be putting a target on your back trying to shoot you if I see you soon because it's rude not to participate in class. Not okay. having talks in the video. But keep going, uh, Moon Dae um, so I charged the um, the opposite way, the the failed business strategy. So the two the, of the most representative causes of business fail strategies. First one is like all the business marketing, and two is environment issues. Um, that one is quite um specific issues. Um, it's not very common. Um, so um, I why well, it's not working. Um, 
So um, this is evidence for um, South Afri African General Economic and Management Sciences. There's um, the 40% of new business ventures fail in the first year, 60% in their second year, and 90% their first 10 year extensions. The, the main problem was the lack of market, marketing and knowledge, and they promote the wrong way to um, marketing business. And um, <clears throat> second one is- Be Before you change, can I keep looking at your first slide and ask some of your classmates to comment. Okay. What are some comments we can make based on what we just learned today? Especially anybody that is not showing your video, <laughs> you should be showing your video and talking. A reference? Good. Somebody said the reference. Great. So what, what about the reference? It's polite to use many words when you're talking, not just one word. Um, maybe um, if you have some if you have a reference for this document at the very last of your presentation, it might be it is good. But if you don't have one, is maybe you should try to add a reference at your next presentation. Right. And in your slide, all you need is two things, the author's name and the year. Everything else goes at the very last slide. And uh, just to help you with the new 2021 referencing, you should also have the full website link where you got this or DOI. DOI is like a secret code for the website link. Uh, the other thing is, in the abstract, you don't have in-text referencing. So abstract is basically just an opinion based off of other details. So anyway, th this is good. Keep going, uh, Professor Moon. Um, um, that is an example of uh, evidence of a lacking business marketing strategy. So I found a Scopus, which is a mini reliable website. And second is um, the environmental issues. Um, for example, like a company like um Disney, Walt Disney. Um it might be weird because Disneyland is the most successful theme park business. But when they started the first business, um they just planned on um, um making a um, making a um, building on um really big theme park, but there's a lot of threats in here, like uh, unstable earnings, decline of return of investment, and the Euro business failure. And the critical one was, problem was um, the, the environment issues, which was, um, you can see this um, article there, um, the environment issues, which included that NIMBY, not, um, NIMBY and opposing alliance of environment, historians and rich nearby property owners 